a new video regarding the installation of a new M2 adapter and the M2 SSD drive inside a ThinkPad P51. I also got an uh, adapter from uh, Lenovo for uh, a normal SATA SSD drive. And this is the M2 adapter I received. It comes with a screw inside the package. Pretty much uh, it's simple. We just have to take uh, off the bolts from the backside. This is uh, easily done with a screwdriver. There are about uh, five or six bolts out there. And the plastic uh, cover comes, uh, comes off pretty easy. As you can see in the video, you just uh, have to take it out from the upper side. Make sure all the, the bolts are fully disengaged so you don't break it. After you remove it, you have full access to what's inside the, the ThinkPad P51. Pretty much you have a proper view of the factory installed M2 SSD drive and the other two hard drive bays which are available for uh, uh, our new uh, Samsung 960. Evo drive, I'm not in focus here. This is how you install it inside the Lenovo adapter. That's where it clicks into, so it will not use an external cable to connect. It's just a plug, plug into the connector right there. Uh, you just insert the, the, the new drive in its uh, adapter. Uh, depending on your drive, it might be a little bit uh, steeper so you have to, to push it but uh, don't use uh, exaggerated force you don't want to break it then uh, install the, the screw that comes uh, with it it's uh, it's pretty simple um, you know I believe the whole thing will take like 10 10 minutes 15 minutes maximum and then you just uh, install the drive the, the screw that comes to secure the drive in uh, in place inside its uh, drive bay, it's uh, already provided uh, by Lenovo, so you will uh, see it uh, in there. You will hear it click, tighten the screw. These are the two adapters that come for the SATA drive. Uh, well, I don't have a SATA drive, so I'll just I'll just put the cover back. Uh, tighten the, the screws and uh, hopefully it's going to work and uh, the system is going to detect my uh, my new drive uh, remember that in, if you're using Windows 10 you will have to initialize uh, the drive and then you will have to format it as uh, NTFS powering up yep no problem there so uh, no uh, no issues this is the part number for the SATA SSD tray, so the big one. And uh, this is in case you want to install a SATA SSD drive. Remember, the maximum supported size is one terabyte for this uh, P51. And this is the part number for the M2 uh, storage base, so for the for the module for M2 SSD. There's the part number in there. I'll uh, put it uh, in the comments on the video also. Um, I was pretty impressed since uh, they are both manufactured in August 2017 and I received the package like uh, seven days later. So uh, I don't know if they have a short stock at uh, Lenovo or not. And uh, you can see the computer has booted in the meantime and uh, working perfect perfectly fine. And uh, just remember to, to initialize the, the drive and to format it. Uh, this is easily, easily done in uh, Windows 10 by uh, searching for the disk utility. And that's uh, pretty much it. And uh, yeah, have a nice day.